All right, so practice problem number one associated with uh, seven problem three, <clears throat> three dash four. How many moles of lead, which is PB, are in 1.50 times 10 to the 12th atoms of lead? So let's start with what the question is actually given us. 1.5. Times 10 to the 12th atoms of lead. Now I'm going to set up a conversion factor. And I know I need to cancel out of atoms. So that's definitely going to go on to the denominator, just like normal. And the question wants me to convert into moles. So I'll put moles on the numerator so that when I actually do my calculations, atoms will cancel and my only unit left will be moles. Just like the question once. But the issue here is, well, what numbers do I put in here? Counter question, where's your statement of equality? 1 mole of lead is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of lead. That's Avogadro's number. And so to this question that scares so many, uh, so many students, what number do I put in, uh, in front of moles in my conversion factor? Well, the same number you put over here, one. And what number do I put for atoms? Well, what number did you put in front of atoms here? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So again, I'm ready to do my calculations because I've set up my conversion factor appropriately based on the units first, and then I filled in the numbers. So I know that I'm going to multiply and then divide. But when I do that, I'm not going to put exponents into my calculator. I'm, I'm going to do that afterwards. I'm going to do that last. So into my calculator, I'm going to put 1.5 zero times one divided by 6.022. Again, not typing in exponents, not typing in exponents. And this comes out to be 0 0.24, how many sig figs do I want? Three, uh, 0 0.249. It was like, oh. I got two different exponents up there. How do I figure out what to do? Well, in chapter two, we learn what to do when you are taking a times 10 to the 12th and then dividing it by a times 10 to the 23rd. You guys remember what you do? You subtract these two numbers. So it ends up being 12 minus 23. 12 subtract 23. That ends up being negative 11. So this is 0 0.249 times 10 to the negative 11th moles of lead. But is this in proper scientific notation? No. no, it is not. I'm going to have to move the decimal over one spot. So I end up with 2.49 times 10 to the something power moles of lead. Now I move the decimal one spot. One spot. So I know I'm going to have to change 
that negative 11 by one. But do I make it a larger number, which would be um, you know negative 10, or do I make it smaller by one, which would be negative 12? Well, again, here's that same logic. I'm not allowed to change the value here. So if to go into scientific notation, I had to make this number bigger. I have to balance that big with some small. So I'm going to make this exponent one smaller. So my final answer in proper scientific notation is 2.49 times 10 to the negative 12 moles of lead.